Welcome back, you two, to another canned tasting. These are a little, little different. White Claw Vodka Sodas. So not seltzers. Not seltzer. A vodka soda in a can. So almost a canned cocktail, if you will. Cocktail? Is this the right show, Brandon? I, dude, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at anymore. White Claw is making their own vodka now. I wouldn't be surprised if they use their own vodka in these. Mm, a little bit of a uh, sowing the seeds for their new thing. Potentially. These seltzers are gonna be main players in the, the spirit game here pretty soon. They might be coming out with the gin and tonic next. Gin we told tonic. them to do it. Yeah, we did. Whoever comes out with the first gin and tonic canned cocktail is gonna be the winner. But today we are trying the White Claws. Mm -hmm. Our first White Claw Vodka White Soda. White Claw Vodka Soda. Pineapple. 4.5% alcohol there, by the way. Which normally the seltzers are 5%, so this is a little down grade in the percentage. But I think White Claw watched our last video because we were talking to Truly saying we like the vodka, the fruit juice is the move. This is a vodka soda, real juice. Uh, yeah, there's definitely yellow in there. Kind of a mm, mute flavor. Yeah. Reminiscent which, of a vodka soda. That's exactly it. With a hint of pineapple. It does taste more of taking that bite out of an actual pineapple to me, as yeah. opposed to that pineapple flavor, which can a lot of times come across as like a syrup in my mouth. More towards the natural side, like the truly juice were. So we are getting that natural juice into the space, but I'm kind of indifferent. Me too. It's not a strong flavor, it's just kind of there. Vodka sodas is already a, I don't want to say a nothing drink, it's a neutral drink. Like that's something you have to add lemon and lime to because vodka soda just tastes like nothing. Right. So it really just kind of tastes like a pineapple LaCroix. And I mean that in the way that it's, it's very light. It's a little stronger than a LaCroix would be, but pineapple is not my flavor. Like, I do like pineapple, but this is very, such a low pineapple flavor that you almost don't even but taste I don't, it. And also if, if you're going vodka soda, I don't think pineapple is, is the move with vodka. I agree with that. I, um, More of a rum. Yeah, a, a rum for sure. I don't know, I think just the reputation of pineapple doesn't help it because pineapple is too beachy, mm. pina colada, yeah. rummy. Right. This isn't it for me. And for that reason, giving it a four. Okay, so you wouldn't buy this at all. Nah. Pineapple's not my thing. I give it a six and let me tell you why. Because I could drink a lot of these. Yeah, no, it's very like, if you had this at the function, as the kids say, yes. I would be all right with having it, but I would never seek it out. If I'm Lock not feeling beer at the time, I might gravitate towards this, if I want a canned drink. Our next White Claw Vodka Soda, Watermelon. Watermelon inside my watermelon. Watermelon, as far as these drinks have gone, have been pretty hit or miss. So I'm mostly miss on my end. To see where this goes, I can kind of smell it already. And here's the problem, man. It's that, oh. it's that Jolly Rancher. Mm -hmm. Here's to you. Tastes better than it smells. It tastes more like actual watermelon, I think. But, but it does have a hint of that fake watermelon. It smells a lot more fake than it tastes. And I am getting a hint of that like rindy. Yeah, a little bit. And not like I'm tasting the rind in a bitter way. I don't, I said this last episode, but it's not like a plant tea, but it's like an, or it's not earthy, Earth. but it's almost plant tea. Yeah, yeah. Right? So far in general, I do think that the vodka soda is a bit better because White Claws to me always had that beery, whatever the alcohol was, it was kind of beery, but this is a lot cleaner. And I really genuinely feel like the way forward with seltzers is either vodka or tequilas. It does feel cleaner. I feel bad giving that first one a six. Cause you like this one so much more? No, or? because I'm so indifferent on these. Mm. Honestly, I think they're both fives. I'm going for again. The flavors are kind of there, subtly, and they're light, almost like a water. But they're, I'm just so indifferent because they're just okay. Yeah. Um, they're not great, but they're okay. This has, so far, this has what I want in a seltzer or a canned drink. Correct. It's vodka, it's nice and clean. I'm, I'm not gonna argue with real juice in it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, these two flavors aren't really for me, but like some natural flavors and vodka. It's not wowing me. Yeah. Maybe I'm a little pretentious now. Yeah, we're too far gone, Brandon. I don't mind it. No, it's, it's Which not Which is why bad. I'm giving it a five. I would buy these. I'd be happy bumping these up to like 4.75s. I just wouldn't buy them. They're good so far. Like they're they're pretty good. I just wouldn't buy them. But that's why I'm indifferent. They're yeah. just okay. And that's okay. It's okay to be okay. It is okay. They're not 
gross. Yeah, they're not bad by any means. I don't mind drinking these. I would pick these over a regular seltzer. I would, like, if I had to choose between this and a regular pack of White Claws, I would say then I, I would go with these. I would pick these over a regular pack of seltzers. Yeah, I don't think I'd buy regular seltzers at all. If I'm buying no, seltzers, exactly. it's vodka. That's what I'm saying. Right now. So insert whatever brand, I would pick these over a regular seltzer. It would have to be a good seltzer pack for me to pick it over this. Type yeah. of drink, yep. this in general, whatever you want to say. Yeah, I'm with you on that, actually. Rating these is weird because there are seltzers that I would maybe give like a six or a seven. Yeah. But I, I think I would prefer these over, because the thing right. is, it's just, it's really clean, it's light, great by the pool. You're not gonna hate yourself drinking, I, these only come in packs of eight, but you wouldn't hate yourself drinking two eight packs. We are going to see what the next couple of flavors are, but I I think maybe my problem is these the flavors, flavors are not it so far. The flavors, maybe. So if they had different flavors, that might be the move. Yeah. But let's see what else they got. We'll see. Reliably in these packs, two of my favorites usually end up in this. Our next oh. White Claw Vodka Soda. Peach. All right, one of my favorites, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, you are a peach guy. I am a peach guy. You haven't been satisfied by the peach. I have flavors. not been. And, and the thing is, is like peaches are healthy, so I try to consume them as much as possible, but they haven't been hitting. But do I even know what a peach tastes like anymore? I could smell it immediately. I taste like, I taste real peach in yeah. there. I think it's my favorite so far out of these. It's mine. I mean, it reminds me a lot of the high noon peach. I haven't had those. Yeah, it tastes a lot of like the high noon peach. And I think my problem with these seltzer peaches is to me, without sounding too pretentious, if you don't mind, Brandon, a lot of these are like a white peach, but I prefer those deep orange or red peaches. Right, because this those are like, more flavorful. Yeah, and um, this is like more of a light, again, probably a white peach. Yeah, this is more of a white peach, which isn't bad. You know, just because it's not my favorite version of it. It's food. light, it's refreshing though. Yeah. No, and this is good. Again, my favorite in the pack. What I, I think White Claw should maybe do with this one and whatever the next one is, if it's good or not. But I will buy a four pack of this one. Okay. Because I like peach and I think my so, problem is the flavors here. So you're going at least a five on the peach. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to go 6.5. Really? It's not, yeah, it's not blowing me away. I don't know how to describe it, but I almost wish I had more of the soda coming. A little more bubbly. A little more bubbly, a little or more of a crispy those, bubble. Those bubbles will release the flavor more. I yeah, think. I think a little more of a crisp it bubble. It would be more of a bite of a yeah. fruit. And I really don't know how to describe this, but I feel like with certain t certain times, the bite of the alcohol adds a little bit. But if I have an actual vodka soda, you get that... Um, yeah, you don't taste any. Yeah, there's no You no don't taste the vodka at it. all in here. I feel like I've had some vodka, but I don't taste it. But I feel like the sharpness of like a vodka would pair pair well with the sweetness of the peach with that soda to kind of crisp it up. So carbonate it a little bit more and bump up the alcohol content to five instead of four and a half. I think, if, I can tell you what, this would make a great 6%. Well, yeah, yeah um, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna well, how much away Well, how much alcohol is in an actual uh, vodka soda, you know? It's a good question. I don't know, but um, I like this. I'm gonna give it a 6.5. I could probably go seven. Overall, it's just very neutral. Well, that's this whole pack is pretty neutral. Yeah. It's like dipping a toe. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like this whole thing so far has been pretty neutral. It's 6.5, it is good. I would buy a four pack of this. A very good spring pack, if you will. Is that what it's called? No. <laughs> No, but um, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think, oh wow, look, White Claw Spirits. Yeah. They've rebranded too. Well, yeah, because they're dipping their toe in the vodkas. There you go. I was surprised you said 6.5 because I thought you were gonna go lower yeah. than what I was gonna say, which is a six. I'll yeah. give it a healthy six and I'm comfortable staying there. I, I could give it a six, but I like it, and but I'm not comfortable giving it a seven because my problems, I think so far, a lot of my problems with this is that it's not a glass of a vodka soda and I'm not getting like the texture of a vodka soda in my mouth. I'll tell you what, after this, we'll put it in a glass with ice maybe. That might be good. We'll see if that changes things. It might work. And if not, maybe I'll throw in a little bit of club soda and see if that yeah. And then if that doesn't work, I'll throw in it's some vodka. <laughs> And then we'll just have a vodka soda. <laughs> we'll have a vodka, a real vodka yeah. soda. Our last White Claw vodka soda, Wild Cherry. Ooh, they're really breaking from tradition, no uh, lemon lime. No citrus of any kind, really. <laughs> See, Wild Cherry is kind of like the watermelon. Do you just end up with the Jolly Rancher? 
No, no, it's not it. No, it's that cherry flavor that's been in all the seltzers that I don't like. It's not for me. Did I rate hey. Peach High because the rest of it has been so mediocre? Probably. To quote a Morton Joe from Mad Max Fury Road. Probably. I was thinking you were to put more of a five and a half on that one. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't like this one as much because it is a more of a bitter cherry flavor. I don't think so. I don't even think it's bitter. I'm getting a bitter finish because it like the it's like the abruptness of the cherry flavoring. The thing is, and this is just my personal preference, we are we've had our hand in cocktails these days. Um I don't even know if they want this to be called a canned cocktail. Probably not, otherwise they would have said so. Yeah, but I mean, even with like certain companies having their canned gin and tonics, a lot of times it's, would this have just been better if I made my own gin and tonic? You know what right. I mean? Everything's fresh. I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna go like a three. I really don't like this one. Uh, yeah, but it's not, I'll, it's I'll not, say a three also. It's I'll not do. like gross to me. That's why it's not like a one or a two, but there's nothing to pull me back. I would drink these if you had them. I'm not interested in this unless I'm already drunk. Oh, that one. Away. Yeah, but I would I would have like a four pack of this. Yeah, yeah those are good. Those um, are good. These are meh. Yeah. That one's good. What I worry is stand. What are we sacrificing for convenience? And it's just like everyone's in the seltzer game, but like Bombay isn't going to start making seltzers. They're going to make their canned gin and tonics, which and they're they're all right. And I've had canned bloody marys, but I don't know. Like I don't know if it's a freshness thing, but convenience. you could You're you're getting a convenience out of a can. What I might recommend as an alternative to the peach, for instance, is Kettle One has a botanical line and it's like a peach and rose water infused vodka. Use that to make a vodka soda, I think. That would be better. I just don't know if vodka soda was the thing to stake your claim on with this one. I think the, the flavors are not great. There is a place for these. I would say by a pool, at a beach, around a body of water, if you will. I think, in my opinion, truly did it better. I think so too. White Claw missed the mark on this pack. I opinion. think so. They only came away with like one good flavor and it's peach. I don't even think I'd order this at a bar. Cause having the pool party, I'd maybe get like a pack of these, but then other, maybe just a different pack of seltzers. This is just if you have it and I'm over at your house and I'm not even looking at this one. White Claw, I'm gonna be honest, I was never really the biggest fan and I was hoping that you would turn it around for this one when I heard that you were getting into the vodka game. Yeah. I feel bad, but I don't, I don't like being mean. Final thoughts on the pack. Meh. Meh, medio, mid, mediocre. I think meh just kind of yeah. sums it all up. Eh. Stay mm. tuned for the second part. Where I think we're gonna try these on ice. I think that would be appropriate. It is clean and crisp and clear, and I love that about it. But other than that, that's all it's got going for it. Yeah, a lack of good things does not mean it's flooded with bad things. Right. It's mid. It. Are we making our own? We're making our own vodka soda because oh, you know what? Shit. They couldn't do it in a can. So we and I will. know what's gonna happen here. That's what you call a shot? It's a taste. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, buddy. God damn. I can smell the booze on that. Is it one. strong? Should we a little more? Douse it a little more. A little more. This is not a science. This is what we call eyeballing. Hey, look. Professional oh. eyeballing. Look, same, same shape. Same glass. There you go. We got lemon club soda and a little bit of vodka. And that's what I want out of my vodka soda. And this is yeah. So. I could probably do a little more lemon, honestly. Oh, better person in the making over here for this. It's light, it's refreshing. The lemon, I think, balances you have with that the bubbles. You bite well. from the vodka. I'm not even here just to trash the, the seltzers. I really think that the bite of the vodka that's what goes well with the soda. I think that's what it's missing. It's missing a slight bit more bubble and a little bit more vodka bite. You know what? I am getting a little more bubble from this and mm -hmm. it's making me burp. I know. <laughs> and that's probably what they're trying to get away from is the burp factor. Because let's be honest, they're going for chicks with this one. And chicks don't like a burp. <laughs> That's true. Merch available someday. What the hell? This is the This is the one we don't. This want. is the white claw episode, you know? This is what happens. Okay. If you enjoyed Thomas, go ahead and check him out on the Jen and Thomas podcast. And if you found this entertaining, go ahead and give me a like. If you think anything I do is entertaining, go ahead and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. That's better. better. That's better.
on video. Look at you. Get come on. Better night. Ah, perfect opportunity for a six or a six and a half percent.